Good day. Welcome to Partakers Friday Prayers on Friday, the 25th of November, 2011. Come, let's pray together. Father, as we commence, may our hearts and minds be right before you. May your everlasting mercy, grace and love be shown in hearing these petitions. Praise to God the Father sing, praise to God the Son our King, praise to God the Spirit be, now and through eternity. Amen. We now come to a time of confession of our sins. The Apostle John writes in 1 John 1 verse 8 to 10, If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Let's now have a short time of silence to reflect upon our lives and then we will say a general confession together. We say together, Heavenly Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love, but we have gone our own way and broken your laws. We are sorry for our sins and turn away from them. For the sake of your Son who died for us, forgive us, cleanse us, and change us. By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you and to please you more and more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I will now say a general confession and please respond with thanks be to God. God has promised in his word that when we confess our sins, he forgives us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Thanks be to God. Now let's have a short time where you can offer your own praise and thanks to God for things that are on your own mind and heart. If for some reason words are failing you, simply pray, Lord God, I lift up thanks and praise to you alone. Hallelujah. Father, accept these praises as sweet-smelling perfume. Amen. Let's now pray together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Let's now pray for these people who are ill. Father, we lift before you Millie, Dorothy, Kath, Joy, Christina, Margaret, and Ron. Give comfort to them and all those who are ill. Give wisdom to medical staff treating them, and from your wellsprings of mercy, grant a healing touch. Father, we especially lift to you Patty, who was recently diagnosed with lupus, is now recovering from surgery. We ask, O Lord, 
that you would provide a healing touch and to give her a measure of patience to endure. Grant also, most merciful Father, peace to her mother and family, a peace that surpasses understanding that only you can provide. We also lift to you Florence, who was recently baptised. We ask, O merciful Father, that you would protect her. Give her, O great and marvellous God, a sense of peace and grant her boldness. We ask all these things, O gracious Father, in the name of your majestic Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. Finally, we close with this prayer of great praise. O oh, Father, may it be that your love takes over our lives, that we would follow you faithfully as your church. May we give to you alone praise in all circumstances we face together. We ask all these things, O oh, Father, through the majestic name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, who lives inside us. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers. See you again real soon.